Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we have collected the Goddess's Bell, which allows us to collect the Sunfire from uh, Kashwan. Nailed it. However, there seems to be someone in my path. Curses! You've already gotten to the Goddess's Bell. First, you were my standing with the Emperor, and now this. The Emperor will never forgive me for messing this up. If I go back to the Empire, he'll have my head. But I'm still a soldier. If I'm gonna die, you're coming with me. Oh boy. That is a uh, sprite choice. Alright, I guess I'll handle this with some dignity. I'm going to... At least have everyone buff up. All I don't need to, but still. Uh-huh. And now, let's slap him. <laughs> I gave this Borging guy too much credit. I don't think I actually gained any skill level from that. Hey, but guy gained some spirit, so... Yeah. Hehe, <laughs> I may have lost, but don't think that you've won! I've booby-trapped this cave. Just a little parting gift from me to you. I'll be waiting for you in hell. Damn it! Go on, get out! We now leave you. I can't hold it much longer. Run! It's up to you now, Ferian. My sweet Nelly. Joseph! I like Joseph. Eh, we got some bad news to tell Nelly, don't we? Yeah, yeah we do. Oh well. At least Borgen's dead. That's always a plus. Well, how I... I recognize Borgen simply because I remember at one point I did look up a bunch of uh, Final Fantasy concept art from the OG, you know, artists of the game. Uh, something Amino, I'm terrible with names, I apologize. Point is, and there was one specifically of Borgen, and he is ugly as sin. Really well drawn, but still ugly as sin. Eh, uh, boy. I honestly probably could have, uh, tacked the beginning of this onto the last episode. Oh well. C'est la vie. And I still. How much money do we have? A lot. Ugh. I saw a goblin and I saw a goblin guard and I'm like, oh, this will be easy. Then I realized, oh, wait, that's right. It's probably going to toss seven of them at me. Seven or eight. It's not a challenge, it's just annoying. I'm not even sure I get shield bonuses for skill levels at against these guys. I'm gonna slap you guys with thunder.
to annoy me just that much. Uh, God. Literally walking into town. Don't let Joseph's death be in vain. You have to get that bell to cash one. I mean, I'm still gonna tell her daughter, tell his daughter first. The Zane. This is rude otherwise. Poor Joseph. I'll look after Nelly in his place. I know that would make him happy. Hi. Daddy. Daddy isn't coming back, is he? Sorry, right, kid. Died for a good cause? Because, you know, people love hearing that people died for a good cause. Don't be in vain. That's a Disney. Wait, I'm sorry. Is your text the same as Nelly's text? Heard there's a wild, wild weird bird like creature called a chocobo living in the forest south of Kashwan Keep. There is. They're fantastic. Oh, I'm just realizing that they, uh, that when they remove Joseph from my, from my, uh, party, they didn't give me back the silver curious. Hmm. See, now I'm going to be paranoid. Now I'm going to be thinking to myself, boy, howdy. I'd sure love to power up this individual with some, like, powerful spells or whatnot. Or, uh, not spells, but equipment. But it would really suck to lose that equipment because they decide to leave my, in my, uh, my party. Because that would be a great feeling. I've been ambushed. Oh, hey, we took damage. You know, that's about the only way we've really taken damage. I got more agility. I really should ha be having him cast some other spells. Like, I'll still have her cast Thunder because screw goblins. Alright then. Super screw goblins. Alright, let's head right to Kashwong Keep just to see if there's anything plus that we need to do. I don't think we need to do much anything more. I mean, surely, because I'm casting a spell on the party, Protect is still getting levels, right? That is my hope. It's a vain hope. Guys, getting more spirit though, so. Light magic is governed by spirits. Black magic is governed by intellect. So, if anything, this will also make it so as our cure spells are far more powerful, too. Protect levels up. Excellent. So, it should be a protect 2 now, right? Goblins, 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 goblins. Yeah, we're not getting into thunder because the the level of the enemies is stupid weak in comparison. Oh no, soldiers that can't hit us. Poke you soon. Doom, doom, the got a shield. Haha, which is. Hey, 
I got some potions. Alright. Now we're gonna tell me to go, oh, wise and old powerful game. Because now we got the bell. We can ring a ding ding it. I think that's excessive. Oh well. Just grinding on our way to, from point A to point B. Let's hit a quick save. Feels like one of those times where it's like, oh hey, I'm just gonna waltz on in and ring this bell, and then suddenly you're beset upon by like five Hydra. I'm not saying that is what's going to happen. I'm gonna I'm just saying that's what might happen. Alright. Doors locked. Oh, wait. There we go. As the clear tone of the bell rings out, the lock opens without a sound. The door, on the other hand, goes... Oh, hi. I came to retrieve the Sunfire. I thought I was the only one left who could open the door. I meant to look for Eagle's Torch, but it's a monster's den in here. I can't keep going on my own, and I can't return empty-handed. I don't know what to do next. You know your way around the keep, right? Do you think you could help us find our way through? I'm sorry. Keep is riddled with secrets. I wouldn't know my way around any better than you. But I do want to fight. Will you let me come with you? Gordon joined the party. About time to... Thief? Wow. 22 straight down. Do we even have any weapons? Do not tell me I have to equip this guy. Alright, he's got a spear. He's fine. Watch him die like every other combat. Oh, there's only balloons and soldiers. It's fine. I really should have been giving Guy the shield since the start of the game. Oh, wait, 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 is that new? No, it's not. Vampire and Thorn and Leg Eaters. For a moment, I was intimidated. For but a moment. I am thinking, yeah, the leg eaters are the ones that are gonna get killed by going like that. You're. Because the people that matter, matter. Da -da 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 -da. Yay, Gordon. I mean, I like Gordon and the fact that he is trying to kind of redeem his cowardly ways. That's about it. This way? Nope. Excuse me. I just fought this boss. I'm just saying. I wonder how long this is going to take if I can just leave it on auto. I mean, it's not doing that much damage. Look at all those proficiencies going up. Maybe I should fight more adamant toys. The 
temptation is real, let me tell ya. Um, I don't know, protect. Everyone else, just kill everything else. Dun dun. Man, poison's also one of those weird things in this game. I, they hit for zero, but they still poison me. Which I suppose is kind of... Like, I've never been bitten by a snake, but that definitely seems to be, like, a very snake-y thing. Didn't actually take much damage from the bite itself. It's the, um, burning sensation through your flesh that really hurts. An ogre! Man, I got an ogre slaying life. It's got a plus sign against ogres. Oh boy, that's a lot of ghouls. Oh, the shadows blind us. Uh, that's what we're like to call not good. But I suppose in the end, he <laughs> guy does look a little bit more cool. With those shades on. Personal opinion, anyways. Okay. Just really hated that one ogre in particular, huh? Oh, blindness still remains after combat. I'm sorry, I thought it was Guy and Gordon that were blinded, not you, Furion. Magic. How much better could Esna really get? It already cures all status ailments. An ogre mage. That nine damage. Oh, oh. Okay. That nine damage just screams, I'll harm you! Oh, a sleep tome. Yes. Alright, that didn't do much damage to the rest of the party, but I guess I'll heal the guest party member. Dun, 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 dun. Good thing that the shadows are such easy kills at this point. You know what this play, uh, this keep actually reminds me somewhat of is um Temple of Trials. Those are not wear racks. That is someone's very cartoony rendition of a rack from Nightmare Before Christmas. Now it's still one shot, one kill. Might have ended up over leveling. That's a lot of gil. Still not sure how the hell this and it works then. Or maybe because when I level it up, it'll actually start doing out of combat stuff. I don't freaking know. See that item. Just means I need to cure or to cast more often, which unfortunately means more people are gonna need to be blinded. Silence did did. Other adamant toys did. Actually, wait. Sleep. 
this. I like this idea. Sleep will level up. Intellect should level up. Everyone's getting their uh, smacking a tortoise on. If anyone... Oh, hey, that actually put us to sleep. Oh, jeez. Axe, shield, spear, shield, level it up. Yes. Just as planned. Put the turtle to sleep, it's like insta-death. Not where rats. Da, da, da. Monsters! More were rats. I should see about sleeping all of them. That'd be a smart idea, though. I'm not known for those. Aha! So do I get... Okay. I was about to ask the question of... Do... Ooh, a golden shield. I was about to ask the question of, do they get bonuses... Or do they still get... Magic buffs from missing spells? Seems to be that they do. Wraiths. That's new. Uh, cure him. Just heck him. Be super effective. Excellent. Although that could have been another one of those enemies that I could have gotten a lot. Ah, ah well. Oh, I'm gonna cure myself. Heck. Well, at least more thundering. I like how... Pointing out a pretty cool thing to me, anyways. But I really do like how the game will continue playing on even after you cast a spell or whatnot. Like, the spell will slowly resolve or a character will die on the screen. And then the game will just proceed during that time. That makes any sense? Oh, God damn it. Ogres. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Perfect. Also, I love that guy is able to pretty much one-shot most everything. So are the ogres just going to drop random tomes? If that's the case, excellent. Alright. Floor of the fourth. Oh boy. Alright, how many of these doors do you think are false? Well, okay, not that they're false, but that they are going to lead to, like, nothing. You guys know the drill. Sit back, relax, and try to kill the Nanomantois. Doing far better at killing him more and more that we face him, though, so... Case in point. Sword and shield all it up. Yes. Damn it. I mean, if we find more adamant toys, it's like... Boom. More levels. More prizes. I love it. Especially if the spell actually hits. I've got if Gordon dies, he'll be fine. Da, 
Shield, spear, level up. Good for you, Gordon. Smart saver. I just made... Oh, I got a lot of money. I also got three chests here I don't trust. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh. The Werebuster. A spiked mace as effective against beasts. Heck it. You've been macing things now, buddy. Damn it. I... Oh, that... Those are ghasts. Uh... Asuna? Block for your life. Okay. So these things suck. Mass blindness on top of paralysis when they hit you. Although they do seem to be relatively nice with the stun effect and it doesn't just automatically like remove you from the combat. Which I always hated when they did that. Hi, land turtles. I just kind of want to... Yeah. That did next to nothing, but alright. Oh, land turtles actually do quite a bit of damage. All right, let's remove the ogres from the uh, situation if we can. Why did I suddenly go, oh, hey, let's use this goddamn mace that he has no proficiency with. Because I saw that the damage numbers were higher. Thunder! Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna sw swap back to the Mithril Sword. I, mean, I could easily hand that over to, like, literally anyone else. And nothing. Land Turtle. Took that like a champ, guy. Like a champ. Uh, those are stairs, but I see some... Oh no, shadows. I suppose I should heal Gordon, huh? Oh yeah! Guy's really rocking that higher agility slowly more painstakingly. Okay. Let's look at this thing. We only got the one door to check out, so let's check out that door. Oh, nothing. Alright, let's kill Mr. Ogre Mage there. Oh, good shot, Gordon. I actually managed to kill something. I'm giving the guy a lot of guff. I'm, I'm gonna lay out, lay back, on, lay out on that. Hellfire. Oh, that acts like the Arctic wind, doesn't it? But fire. One of these days. One of these days. Let's see. Door there. Oh, there's a door on each corner and some stairs. Y'all know me. I'm going to check them all out. Aha. Guys, agility gets higher and higher. 
Why do we even bother with these additional doors? Because <laughs> they might be good! <laughs> they might be good, damn it. I haven't used fire in a while. I think it's still going to be less damage than axe, but... Yeah. Thunder. With the length of these dungeons, I'm kind of, I'm kind of not surprised I have not needed to grind as much as I usually do when it comes to like any of these games that are based off of old games. Guy shield level up. So did guy's agility. All right, all the corners first. Heck, that one wear rat in particular. See, if I really wanted to make the most out of that goddamn wear buster thing, I'd use it against the wear rats. But I'm not that smart. Yay, go Gordon. Use my antidote. Oh. Quick save. A mallet. Eye drops. Antidote. Despite the fact that the mallet uh, sounds like a giant hammer, it is a healing item. Uh, there is a status effect called mini. M-I-N-I. And uh, it kind of sucks. It makes you really, really small. So your physical damage becomes next to nothing. Nothing else really seems to change when it comes to mini as far as I recollect, but... Hey daughter, what do you know about mini? Well, I'm glad you asked because it exists in Final Fantasy 7 and 8. And I want to say um, it exists in some of the newer, newer ones too, like 9, but... Ooh, Blink Tome. But I might be talking out of my butt, so... God, Furion's agility is nearly 40. Just... Mmm... Really goes to show I really should have given Guy a shield at the start of the game. Because that's what's doing the trick. Stop slapping Maria. Dun dun. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder what the boss is going to be here. Oh, the bow leveled up finally. Excellent. Alright, only got this one more corner to check out. Uh, and then from there, check out that chest in the middle of the room. Which I'm pretty sure I should just be able to warp out and then come back and be all like, Sup, little fire? Just take that. You know, this is a, still a relatively good way to get back, get up the, uh, yeah, sword, spear. Even guys actually leveling up some. Excellent. He shall ask all the questions. Uh, the shadows in an attempt to punish me for the pun. A punishment, if you will. I'm not sorry. <laughs> and... Oh. Are you plot? You might be plot. Oh. 
I had heard there was a monster guarding Eagle's torch. I've seen it with my own eyes. It's a red soul. Uh... That's an ambush? I mean, alright. Shell? Cure? Slap it! Excuse you! That just healed it. I am now, as one says, very confused. Red fire heal. Okay. All right. I'm not a blithering idiot. I'm just a complete idiot. It is healed. What the hell is scorch? It is healed by magic. I, which means I do what I've been doing pretty much the entire game and poke it. Did it. Well, now I want to get the chest that's in the middle of that other room. Son of a bitch. Out of my way! I got loot to get. Monies to get. Blah. Okay, I was about to say, don't kill the guy, don't kill the guy, don't kill the guy. Now I'm wondering, though. Because the way that you increase your... Alright. Quick save this time, too. Yep. Oh! Mines. Uh... That might be bad. Because the balloons still hit... Well, the balloons are balloons. I'm not sure what the mines do for. Five. Well. Well. Good old Gordon. Died for some armor. Live. And, uh, stop dying. Alright. I feel like I should give this golden armor to Guy. Yeah. Uh, that said. Whoop, 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 whoop. I was thinking teleport. Wait, previous floor as in... Okay, now it is slowly leading us down. Two. One. Damn it. Uh, just, ah, whatever. Kind of wish that she did have the teleport spell, but I think that's uh, currently magic beyond our means right now, anyways. Can I just warp one more time, and we'll be at the start? Effectively, yes. Yeah. Mm. 
the sunfire blazes brightly. And with this, we can destroy the dreadnought. Now, where is that thing? Getting on that thing is going to be a lot harder than I think it's going to be, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save and call an episode here. When we return, I guess we got to try to get on the Dreadnought. And um, since they just caught Sid's airship, that's going to be harder done than said. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.